Hey, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward here. And today I have a question from Charles, and he's wondering why different cable pulleys feel different when you're in the gym. And what I mean by that is you have basically a single pulley stack, and then you have a double pulley stack. And he was noticing in his workouts, if he uses a different machine, the weights feel a lot different. And basically this just has to do with leverage and the physics of pulleys because obviously a single pulley setup such as this one where we only have a pulley at the top is going to feel a lot harder than a multi-pulley system which you find in most cable crossover stations and in this one we have numerous pulleys i mean you have a pulley up top pulley here in the middle a pulley in the bottom and all those cables are interconnected so that's going to take away from the weight on the weight stack. And very often, a double pulley setup that you'll find in a cable crossover is probably gonna feel about half as heavy as a single pulley. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your workouts. So for example, this one right here, I would use about, let's just say 100 pounds. I'm just gonna kinda of do like a little impromptu test here. I have 50 pounds on this one. And I have to be honest, I actually think the 50 pounds even feels heavier than the 100 pounds on that one because again of the multi pulley setup. So just keep that in mind again when you're doing your workouts and you can't compare the weights from one machine to the next. So if you are trying to track your progress and keep a training log, which you should be, write down the machine that you're using as well as uh, the exercise. Because again, a tricep push down on a double pulley cable is totally different than a tricep push down on a single pulley cable. So you want to write that down and ideally, if you can, try to stick to the same machine each time, week after week after week, so that you can actually get an accurate reading of your progress, rather than hopping back and forth and not really having any idea you know, where your strength gains are. So again, uh, hopefully that helps clear up your question, Charles. And if you have any other Ask Lee questions that you want to submit, feel free to post them down in the comments below. And who knows, I may feature you in a future Ask Lee video. Take care, over and out.